What's going on guys, Jerry from Custom Offsets with Dustin and you have to have probably been living under a rock if you don't know all the cool shit that Ford's been doing recently. They brought back the Bronco, they made it a four door, they made a mom van version of it, they brought back the <laughs> 7.3 and now today, finally, or actually last night, Ford has re-released the F-150 Lightning. Yes, I am so, so, so excited for this. I have been a Lightning fanboy since the first gen with like the OBS and then, you know, the little Lightning thing and the decal and just, they're super neat and I love them. So I'm super excited to see where they take where they take this. Uh, rumor has it, it is all electric. Yep, that was the only, that's like all I know about is that it's got a weird daytime running light bar thing on the headlights because I've seen a sneak peek photo yep. and that it's electric. Yeah, I have seen literally nothing of this yet. So I am super, super excited. I think it's gonna be fantastic. Yeah, and uh, just a little bit of background history on all this then, right? So OBS Lightnings back in the day were like, that was the start of it all. Yep. Single cab, short bed with like the 5.0 or 5.8 in it or whatever, I think it was 5.8. Then they went to the second gen, which was like the 10th gen F-150, but a second generation Lightning, yeah. supercharged, step side, super ugly, but super fast and cool at the same time. And also in Fast and the Furious, which made it iconic. Yes, I'm hoping that the Una Chupadita clip of the lightning in the burnout <laughs> that is the same like sticker is on yes, the screen please. right now. Yes. So like. this is the, gen, I don't know if they're calling it a Gen 3. It technically is the Gen 3. I don't know how they're- Gen 3, third gen? Doing it that way as far as electric, lightning goes. Uh, but it is the third generation of Ford Lightning. And we're here to watch the announcement trailer on it quick that was released less than 10 hours ago and tell you our thoughts on it. Cool, let's get into it. And of course, if you guys need wheels, tires, or suspension for your Lightning, electric truck, car, performance whatever, parts, bumpers, headlights, this dude just doesn't get it. All right, let's go. It's got a targeted 775 pound feet of torque. I love the headlight that's targeted the to go running from bar zero already. to 60 in the mid four second range. It's a driving experience that's pure, unfiltered exhilaration. Okay, hold on a second, hold on a second. We are not even gonna let we're us 19 watch. seconds into this thing, and they're already talking zero to 60 in four seconds. Reminder that this is a full-size F-150. Holy <laughs> From the moment you hit the accelerator. Oh, and it's an F-150. A full-size pickup. Introducing the all-electric F-150 Lightning the smartest, most innovative F-150 we've ever built. Iconic F-150 capability meets <laughs> advanced technology meets electrification for an experience that's more connected, more dynamic, and more so unexpected it's got an app? than ever Did you before. you catch that? There's yeah. like a it's mobile app the quickest app accelerating F-150 built yet with the most targeted torque of any F-150 ever. That's one of the most thrilling rides we've ever built, truck or otherwise. But even when it's not being driven, it's still got the ability to amaze. Hey. Starting with Ford. Hey, have you heard the new Ford Lightning? Yeah, we're Just watching came the video. Out. It's a new truck. It's pretty sweet. It's electric. You, you like electric? One? You're still buying my Tesla from me too? Backup <laughs> <laughs> power which gives you the ability to offboard up to 9.6 kilowatts of power. Right, enough to power a home off. for about three days. Oh. And with whoa, the whoa, whoa, whoa. so you can back up power board. your home from your F-150? No, it's just saying that it has enough power that it could power a home for three days. I was like, that's pretty dope, honestly. <laughs> Pro power on board, you get 11 plugs with enough power to keep your mobile business running. That's really nice, honestly. Or if you've got a table saw, a blender, a circular saw, a fan, a can opener, <laughs> a kettle, a slow cooker, and a juicer that need powering, the F-150 Lightning is up to the task. Then, when the truck needs powering on the go, it's got access to the Ford Pass charging network. Easy to access, easy to customize. So e Ford's gonna have their own superchargers? Like Tesla? Does te do Tesla ones plug into these, or is every electric vehicle company making their own technology behind the plug? So here's what I'm thinking. I am thinking that, and I have no, no knowledge to base this on, right? My thoughts are, So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that, because uh, they said that you have access to the Ford Pass network. So yeah. my guess is that if you buy an F-150, you're gonna get access to it, right? Is if it you extra, don't- Is it though? Or is it like, that's all you can do is- 
well, go to those ones. So I'm thinking that like a Tesla could probably charge off of that, but yeah. they'll probably charge you like a, a, a fill up fee, right? Uh, so it's like if you buy an F-150, you get all the F-150 chargers, but if you want to if you want to recharge at a Tesla station, it'll cost you, you know? I don't know, that's just my thoughts. Easy to pay for through the Ford Pass app. And at the front end of all this power, popping the hood has been completely redefined. All right, hold up, hold up. It has a frunk, dude. Yep, I didn't even think about that. You don't, there's I didn't no either. engine. Like, you have extra space to put shit. That's awesome. It's actually low-key kind of cool. It's you know how weird to be at a show? Like, pop, pop your hood and they're just like... You got like a Yeti cooler full of White Claws in there or something. Power <laughs> frunk, a walk-in closet that you can drive Mega with 400 power liters of storage, Holy capable of hauling up to 400 pounds. Standard with 2.4 kilowatts of power up front, with four 120 volt and two USB outlets. Dude, you storage could like that's customizable and lockable. You know how many dead bodies you could put in that thing? Well, I was just thinking, if you're going to like family Christmas, you could just plug your slow cooker in and cook whatever you're bringing to pass <laughs> on the way there. <laughs> Literally. Our frunk is quite possibly the most useful innovation since, well, since the truck bed. Mm -hmm. Then, at the nerve center oh, of all go. this capability, Ooh, you get an available okay. 15.5 inch Dis touch. Don't screen. drive while well distracted. See owner's manual for details. Is that an actual hard knob too? It looks like it. It huh? looks like it, yeah. I, I like that. I like, like, when I buy, like, double DIN aftermarket radios and they don't have, like, an actual yeah. hard knob, and you have to like click the button to turn it up and down, that drives me nuts. Whereas having just that one actual like tactile knob that you can turn. Yeah, exactly. Just one, you don't need a bunch. You that just screen's need one. massive though. I think that's bigger than the new fifth gen Rams. Like, it looks like that's it. Gotta Which be... could be used to activate 13, four different inches. drive modes and access an impressive range of productivity enhancing technologies like intelligent range, which considers towing and payload as well as terrain, traffic, and past driving behavior to automatically recalculate your range. Nice. You'll even program a new route if you need it. You also get an entire toolbox of available trailer tech. Onboard scale? And most importantly, you get an F-150 <laughs> Lightning with power up, over the air software updates. That means you get a truck that's connected to engineers so it has wi -Fi, at Ford. Right? If, it's if auto they find a way yep. to enhance features, quality, experiences, capability, and convenience, it's possible to it receive is a those time. updates that wirelessly. Fantastic. Now the F-150 Lightning runs nearly silently, but make no mistake, it's built Ford tough. Torture tested so it lives up to the F-Series standard. <laughs> Always determine the, the water depth before crossing. <laughs> battery, Lightning has a targeted EPA estimate of 300 miles of range. Targeted maximum available towing of 10,000 to pounds. What? And targeted Thousand maximum pounds. payload of 2,000 pounds. Then, when the workday is over, 100% charging overnight. And it's designed to look like a truck because that's what it is. <laughs> the next chapter of Ford F Series, America's best selling trucks for 44 years running. It's not just another new EV, it's over a century of innovation and human insight manifested in a revolutionary new pickup. It's a trusted workhorse, made more thrilling and useful than ever. It's the moment when Ford took electric and turned it into lightning. It's the only all-electric truck that's built Ford tough. It's the all-new F-150 Lightning. Okay. That's cool. I want to figure out what the power specs are on this bad boy. So we're going to go to Ford.com and then also see pricing too because I yeah. want to know what we're getting into with yeah. this new Ford Lightning. So first thoughts though. I dig it. I'm a little bit disheartened that it's not more performance based. I'd almost hoped it was like regular cab short box, like, you know, and reverse level. I didn't see a single low. extended cab or a single cab. So I don't know if it only comes in a crew cab, but also at the same time, look at the Broncos and how the sport is out now and the actual Bronco you're still waiting on. Yeah. So I don't know if eventually like the Bronco as well will have like a SVT model come out sure. where it is more performance based. They just need to get the platform out to begin with, right? When the Lightning first came out back in the day, it didn't have a supercharger. Yep. Took a second generation for that to come to be a thing. Correct. Getting a phone call. No, I agree with you. I, with all of that being said though, I think they're super sweet. Like. The fact that it's 300 mile range, the fact that it's rated at 10,000 pounds of towing, it's rated for 2,000 pounds in the bed. Ford has done what has been the biggest Achilles heel for electric trucks, and that they weren't trucks, they were cars with a bed, right? Yep. Ford's nailed it. If, if that's really true specs, they've killed it. And, and 
I mean, I'm super happy for that, you know? And that's what I'm curious on, is that 300 mile range without anything being towed behind it? Because once you start towing, what is your range? Yeah, correct. Is it 200 or is it 80? I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you. I can only go, uh, like with the enclosed car trailer behind the Duramax, I go like, uh, I don't know. You were right. 200 miles. Truck charges up, grid goes down. F-150 Lightning goes to work. Dude, it back powers you your house. That's your so house cool. With it. Three mile range, charging covered. Two motors, four wheels, lots of torque. We know that, right? Electric 15 trucks. and a half inch screen. <laughs> That's like. Entry model starting at 40K. Commercial oriented. More equipped XLTs oh, are go. 53. Additional comfort and technology. Okay, so they, they range from 40 to 90,000, which is yep. a pretty big spread, but yep. I mean, again, you're It's talking. a brand new truck, but if you look at the pricing though, that is the pricing of a new F-150 yeah. anyways. Yeah. You're looking at, if you're getting a King Rancher Platinum, 80 to 90K anyways. So yeah. this really isn't anything crazy as far as pricing goes, knowing that it's completely different technology and that the price doesn't drastically increase like affecting that. Yeah, absolutely. I think that this will do what the Eco Diesels tried to do. Yeah. I'm gonna go on record right now and say that I firmly believe that the the Lightning here, and I assume you'll see something from GM and, and Ram coming down the road, right? That's how it always works. But I believe that this truck will exist for the guy that lives in town, that wants good fuel mileage, that also wants to tow his boat to the lake on the weekends or something, right? This is a perfect combination for him. I just want to stuff some 14 lines on it, dude. I think they'd look dope. I think this would look dope lifted. Yeah. I don't know how good the range is going to be, but hey. Well, okay, listen. It's it's But if you gallon, think you know? about it, you got 37 by 15 and a half. So you got a giant tire, more friction. That friction translates back into the vehicle, which powers itself. So you actually might get better. No, definitely Electrical not. mileage. No, because you have to roll them first. <laughs> it's a lose-lose battle. You, you were the kind of guy as a kid that thought you could like plug the power strip back into itself too. And you're like, look, I have forever Unlimited power. Unlimited power, yeah, that's how it works. Weirdly, Ford's site doesn't have much about the power unless I'm missing it and it's just kind of blended in there. But rumor has it that this thing's gonna have 775 foot pounds of torque. No horsepower. Yeah, it's weird. Which is, to be honest, it doesn't matter, right? With electric engine or electric motors, excuse me, not engines, motors, it's all about torque. Yep. Because uh, you can call it a whatever horsepower that you want. Yep. But the important facts, there are 775 foot pounds, which is diesel specs, well, right? The rumor is too, though, that the horsepower that it does have is like 540 or something I like believe that. that. Like yeah. over 500 horse. It's a lot. So you take a single cab short bed, you have 500 horse, you power that bitch up for one run down the track, you're gonna have one fast sum of a bitch. Mm, mm, mm. It's gonna be like Tesla Model X all over again, but yeah. with an F-150. Yep. Guys about your gap in Lamborghinis, you know? I can't wait. It's gonna be fantastic. I love it. I, I hope to see a single cab down the road, and I hope to see a more performance-oriented version, kind of like what we talked about. Like an SVT or something. Yes, yeah. just because I think that is the heritage that it came from, but Ford's always been really good about appreciating that history that they have had and bringing it back. We just are impatient and want all the cool shit right off the bat. Yeah, and I guess we can't be super impatient, right? Because we do have like the Raptor R coming, which yep. is super high horsepower, uh, allegedly, um, and more of a performance half ton as well. So I, either way, I'm super excited. If Ford's this is all the I'm cool with it. It's fantastic. Fiat, get on your game. Yeah, figure it out. GM, yeah. you just you just keep doing what you're doing, okay? We know keep that- Keep making solid engines. <laughs> Yeah. Buy an F-150 Lightning. Right now. You Actually, do. you can pre-order. So it's a hundred bucks pre-order reservation. No, I already have a Tesla truck that I ordered two years ago. I heard you waiting. sold that though. No, Sean might buy it from me, but he just bought one of these. So maybe he won't. And I'm debating on getting a new Bronco. So this isn't going to be in the picture for me. Oh my God. But it has a, Oh look, see. they give you a big fat uh, federal tax credit too. Oh, so bucks. here's the move, right? I actually learned about this the other day. There's guys in, in certain states like Massachusetts is really big that'll that'll lease EVs because the tax credit they give you pays for it. Oh. So the government is is cutting you back a check, right? Because yep. you're you're buying into an electric vehicle yep. and it'll literally pay for it. There's uh, one of my buddies out there is paying for a, an all electric, I don't know if it's a like a full size uh, Ford sedan or what it is. It's a car, right? Mm -hmm. But but the, the credit he gets back covers all but like $27 of his monthly payment. Wow. It's awesome, dude. Decent. I love so it. here, reserve now, 
100 bucks due today. Okay. You place your order in fall of 2021, so later this year, and then it begins shipping apparently in spring of 22 then. So, yeah. Yeah. Pretty straightforward. Yeah, 40K up to 90K. Yeah. Which, again, is pretty... I'd say it's a little more on the high end for a half ton, but nothing super crazy. So no. it'll be cool to see. It'll be cool to see what people do with these two. Are they just going to be the daily driver type thing? Or are people going to take them and do cool with them, lift them, take them off road? Well, I mean, for as much stuff. as you drive your Bronco, it could be electric, you know? I mean, you, you I drive it, it on the trailer and then back off the trailer. Wow. And that's about it. So There's two AA batteries to power that thing. Woof. That's what I got for you guys. Let us know your thoughts. Obviously, this is something kind of new, cool, controversial in the truck scene of things. It's, now, it's not a diesel. It's not a gasser. Completely electric Ford F-150. Lightning. That's what I got for you. Subscribe, youtube.com slash TV. Peace. I'm hungry. I need some tacos.